Hello, my name is Elijah Martin. I'm a grad student at UCSF, and I work here at the Gladstone Institute in the laboratory of Deepak Srivastava. In the lab, we study how the heart is formed and develops in the embryo, and how it maintains itself and functions. And we try to use that knowledge to figure out ways to uh, repair or regenerate the heart after disease. Microscopes are very important to the things I do. I grow cells in a circular petri dish that are engineered to be green and shine bright green when they are becoming heart cells. We use a special microscope and what this allows us to do is to see specifically which cells I'm interested in and also to, I guess, track them over time to see how they move and develop and how they might actually form a heart in a dish. So microscopes allow us to um, observe things that might be impossible to see otherwise. I've always been curious and interested to know how things work. When I was younger, I was sort of sitting, resting like I am now, and then my heart started beating at like a million miles per minute, as if I had ran around the track 10 times. And it turns out when I went to a doctor, sort of the electrical wiring that controls my heart was going haywire. And luckily we were able to fix it, but since then I would always been very curious as to why my and other hearts might not function correctly. And so I've always known I wanted to be a cardiologist and decided to study science and biology in college. So I'm currently undecided exactly what I want to do once I graduate. I'm considering continuing to research in an academic setting or working with industry to help uh, to create some therapy. So an example is you might have a cell-based therapy where you might um, make cardiomyocytes in a dish. These are the heart cells and then you would transplant those into a human somehow after a heart attack. Or you might have a different drug that might be tested that can help a patient after a heart attack. I guess the advice I would give, it's important to just study anything in science um, if you're interested in it, but also study things like um, math, statistics, and computer programming because I think increasingly in the future those will be key to analyzing data, especially as more and more biologists are having to do more computer work to just make sense of all the data that we're getting.